Hello everyone, it is me Oliver and I am here with... Kathy! Kathy, hey, look everybody. at you, the star in the frame there, Kathy. <laughs> we are at Magic Kingdom today and we are both very, very, very hungry. Um, so we were going through and thinking, you know, what have we not done before? And I, I've not done it for a while, I have done it before, I've done it with Pete, but I've not done it for a long time. Uh, Kathy recommended that we do... Sleepy the, Hollow! That's it, the Sleepy Hollow. So we're going to head over in there, there it is, in between us now, uh, and we're going to let you know what we think. See you later. Okay, Kathy, what did you go for? I went for the fresh fruit and waffle, Nutella waffle. Seven forty nine. We'll have to see how it is. There's a lot of fruit on there, so I'm hoping it's good. Is that Nutella as well? Did you say? Yes. So yes. yeah, they've they've been they've, there's a big portion of Nutella on there too. Yes. So it looks good. So we'll I'm see interested, how it tastes. Interested to see what it's like. Okay, so I went for the sweet and sour chicken waffle. Whoa, there we go with a broccoli coleslaw on the side. Super interested to see how this tastes. Um, mine came to the grand total of ten twenty nine. Um, first impressions, the chicken doesn't look overly appetizing, but I'm going to dig in and, uh, and see what I think, so let's go. Okay, I can see all your fruits gone, <laughs> which I'm very impressed with. All this running, you did your 5k yes. yesterday, you're eating your fruit, and um, yeah, what did you think though? Um, it was okay. I think this is one of those kind of meals or snacks or whatever you want to call this that would be good shared. Mm -hmm. I think it's too much sweetness with the Nutella for one person. Like maybe two people, it's even a good four portion people. Size yeah. Well for sharing. I mean, it was nice. It had uh, strawberries and bananas and blueberries. It was the fruit was really good. I just think there's too much waffle, and I don't want to be picky. But they used to serve it on a plate. And now they serve it like in these little bowls and you're trying to cut the waffle and everything's falling out. They need to go back to a plate. Okay, so I am at that crucial halfway point. Um, and what do I think? So I'm quite impressed so far. I would say that the um, chicken is a lot nicer than expected. Um, for quick service chicken, I am impressed. Um, it's not dry at all, it's a good amount, uh, and the sauce on there doesn't taste cheap, it's got quite a nice taste to it. The waffles are waffles, there's nothing special about it, I'm just gonna be completely honest. The thing I was impressed with the most was the, um, the broccoli slaw. So the lady that sold this to me behind the counter was saying how much she loves it, and when she buys it, sometimes she just has the slaw and the chicken, and she doesn't even have the waffle with it. Um, and she was right, this stuff is really, really good. So uh, it doesn't sound like it should go with it, but it really does. The whole meal though, I would say is more, it's sitting somewhere in between snack and a meal. I wouldn't say it's, you know, a complete meal. I definitely wouldn't say it's, it's definitely more though than just a snack. So um, that's portion size, price wise, it, it is the price of a quick service meal. So I don't know, maybe if you're in Magic Kingdom and you're not feeling overly hungry, but you, you know, a snack's not gonna fill you up, this might be the place for you. Um, I think I will come back in the future. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a spot that, uh, I come and return to. Okay, so we have just finished our waffles at the Sleepy Tavern Sleepy restaurant. Hollow. Sleepy <laughs> Sleepy Tavern. <laughs> Sleepy I feel sleepy now, mate. <laughs> Sleepy Hollow uh, restaurant in Magic Kingdom. And I don't know, what, what's your general thoughts? I think it's a good place to, to grab I don't know, would you call that it's, a snack? Well, this is my thing. I would the food was good. I was impressed with the food 100 percent But it's for me it's whether it's a snack item or a lunch item I'd say if it's a snack it's a hefty snack yes. um, you made a fantastic point about sharing uh, great for sharing if you're gonna split the cost with someone it actually becomes very affordable as well so um, yeah I think that's what I'd probably do in the future if I'm looking for uh, something fruity something sweet something to get my sugar levels back up so I can keep you know powering on through the parks I'll probably come here and if you're looking, if you used to get your uh, baked potato down in Liberty Square, you can get a baked potato here at Sleepy Hollow. I think I'd probably get that next time. Just for If I'm yeah. coming for like a lunch, I'd get the baked potato. If I was coming for a snack, then I'd get the fruit waffle. 
Yeah, and that's that pretty much, that almost covers everything they do there. It is literally waffles, baked potatoes, and funnel cakes, I believe, and that's yep. it. So it's not a hefty, uh, hefty, a bit, it's not a wide range of a menu. It's a very yeah. limited menu, but um, I've never really been unimpressed with anything I've had there, and this was pretty good too. So um, yeah, I'd say come and check it out.